Hey guys, I'm out at Eisenhower State Park at Lake Texoma. I'm going to do some practice fishing out here and I just got set up in my little screened in shelter. Uh, that's what it looks like. It's my cot, little sleeping area, some shades that hopefully keep the rain out. We'll see. I brought a tarp. Got my boat out here. get in the water and see if we can catch a fish. I hadn't been fishing in quite a while. All summer I've been working on my house and uh, so I got here just in time for the first cold front. It's supposed to be 64 degrees tonight in the low or in the mid 60s uh, for the next three nights. Highs in the mid to upper 80s so you know it's uh, middle September. A couple weeks ago it was 98 degrees uh, last week it was 96, upper 90s all week long, so really looking forward to the weather change. I hope the fish are too. I heard from another competitor that he practiced out here for one full day and only got four bites. So stay tuned. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for tuning in. Well, I'm just getting started. I drove through the night, got to the park. They let me check in to my screened-in shelter early. And uh, after I got everything organized, I'm just uh, getting started at the boat ramp. First cast, and I hook up with a pretty good smallmouth. Keeper number one, first cast on the boat ramp. Wow. All right. I'll let this guy go. This is start of day two. Um, you know, the first day I didn't have so much luck. I was throwing a lot of baits, moving around a lot of parts of the lake, and uh, I didn't really catch much and day two I pick up the Ned rig uh, because I'm just wanting I know they're in these docks and I know they're not biting anything I'm throwing so the Ned rig uh, gets me a fish right away and I'm about to catch uh, two more on the next two casts this next one is gonna be a good one but these fish here uh, what I found out over the next few days is the largemouths on Texoma seem to be in the back of the creeks uh, all the way back. You had to have some rocks and they were hiding up in the docks.
I'm fishing back at the boat ramp where I put in. This is the final day before I head home. Um, you know, this place, as I was driving to my campsite when I first got to the park, uh, I could see uh, smallmouth schooling, chasing bait out of the water, and they just weren't quitting. They were still jumping at the boat ramp when I put my boat in on day one, and I'm finishing out my last day here. Um, because they're still going crazy in this little creek right at the boat ramp. So uh, I'm about to catch uh, three small mouths right here, all keeper sized ones. First good smallmouth of the day. Keeper number two.
switch color and I got another bite. Hi guys, uh, I'm going to show you some of the lures that I'm catching fish with in this video. Uh, I've got uh, uh, the Spook One Knocker that's got uh, some different hooks on there. Those are, I think, owners, trouble hooks. Um, a lot of the big largemouths around docks were eating this uh, weedless Ned rig with a hula stick. And um, you'll see in the fish coming up in the video, I'm um, catching a lot with this uh, Ned jig around bigger boulders back in the creek. So, um, you know, a lot of what I learned in practice up to this point, um, I kind of ditched all that because uh, I didn't have it in the video, but I did find uh, some bigger small mouths hanging out around boulders in a creek and I just didn't have the cameras on my boat that day But I decided to do that all of day one and I got a limit on the Ned jig So that's coming up in the video, but something else I want to tell you guys about is omniafishing.com it's a new online tackle store and uh, What's different about Omnia is they give you fishing reports for all the different lakes you can get on there uh, read local fishing reports per species per the time of year and it'll give you a lot of details about how people are working the baits the colors that kind of thing and it's an online tackle store so you can buy uh, the tackle there it's just uh, I just got a box here I'll show you um, you know you get a box from Omnia tackle and it's a lot like the other places that we get tackle from it's got uh, you know, sticker comes with it, a handwritten card saying thanks for your business, um, t-shirt, and then, um, you know, all your tackle that you order. In this box, I've got a ton of uh, Rage Claws and oh, Carolina Rig Weights, but Omnia Fishing, pretty cool platform. I'll be putting a link down in the description. Uh, we can go check out all the fishing reports for all the lures that I'm catching them on at Texoma and I'm gonna link them to all of my fishing videos so in the future you can uh, go on their website order the lures that I'm using it's pretty cool so you should check it out omniafishing.com so stay tuned for the rest of the video it will be day one and day two of a little championship tournament I'm fishing I uh, hope you guys enjoy thanks for watching This is my third fish. Uh, the tournament was a trailing tournament and first cast was 6.30 a.m. which was still pretty dark. Uh, I pulled up into the back of this creek and I had two keepers right away before the sun came up so I got the cameras running and I backed out and I'm working these big boulders back to the back of the creek where there's a lot of bait fish but I'm just um, knowing that there's some bigger large mouth or small mouths swimming around these boulders out here so uh, this is number three going into the live well. I couldn't get any top water going but what's going on is the fish are uh, pushing 
some smaller bait fish, like look like maybe ghost minnows. They're not shad, but they're pushing them up into the rocks, and, and you can actually see the largemouth jumping out of the water and bait fish hitting the side of the rocks and falling down the rocks, and uh, just so much bait activity. And the further you go into the back of the creek, uh, it's just giant schools of bait being just attacked from every direction, mostly white bass, uh, but there's schooling, spotted bass you've got the large mouths in the back of the creek and then uh looks like the small mouths are just a little bit uh, further up the creek in the bigger boulders Number five, just barely touched, so um, got a limit, but I'm not real happy with this last fish. Like, um, I had to check him like four different times to make sure his tail just barely touched 14 inches. For as awesome as this lake is, it's been fishing really tough. Um, you know, I guess I heard that there was a two-day tournament out here recently and it took 20 pounds to win so you know just getting a limit both days uh, should be enough to get you a check um, and I'm feeling pretty good about having a limit and about three hours left in the day to try to call That's a call, uh, 14 and a quarter inch long fish, gonna trade out for a 14.001 inch fish.
This is the start of day two. The sun's up, and uh, I don't have any keepers on the butter at this point. So this is my first one on a Ned jig up around some bigger boulders. The boat's sitting in like 30 or 40 foot of water, and I'm throwing up to boulders sitting in maybe uh, 3 to 10 foot and working it pretty far out, uh, sometimes before I get a bite. Keeper number one. What the fuck is that? This fish kind of messed me up. Like, he hit the lure the second it hit the water, and I wasn't really sure what happened. He hit it eventually three times before he took it, and it was a big spot, like a 15 inch spotted bass. Come on, guys. Big spot. Big spot. And that's gonna pretty much wrap up Lake Texoma. I finished this day with four keepers. Right, I caught one more after Number this. Three. I had five on day one. Uh, but it was a great trip. I enjoyed fishing Lake Texoma. Eisenhower State Park. Awesome state park. Very clean, very friendly people that work there. Uh, look forward to coming back. It's like the fourth or fifth time I've stayed at this park. Uh, but I'm gonna regroup get ready for OHIV thanks for watching everybody appreciate all the subscribers and if you hadn't already subscribed please click the subscribe subscribe button and I'll see you out there